Welcome back to our program. So recently, we have read and we have actually seen um, some kind of tensions in terms of racial, religious harmony within Malaysia. I'd like to draw you out on that in terms of the current situation. What do you plan to do about it? We have to manage extremists, uh, uh, and there are extremists uh, anywhere in the world, uh, including Malaysia, India, and other places. So we just have to manage uh, the, the extremists, the polarities. Uh, this issue uh, is the issue of polarity. We have to manage the, you know, the, the difference uh, in terms of uh, the, 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 the Muslims' point of view and the, the Christian point of view, if you like. Uh, and uh, you know, try to find a middle path. I, I'm a great advocate of uh, dialogue. Uh, you know, trying to foster greater understanding, uh, and hopefully, uh, in due course, we'll find a solution that's uh, acceptable to all. Uh, actions will be taken. Uh, we will prosecute those involved uh, in in that particular incident of burning that particular church. Uh, in fact, the police have uh, discovered the people who are responsible, and I would imagine uh, the charges uh, uh, will, will be uh, drawn up against them. It's quite a tough call, though, isn't it, to handle this kind of situation that you have on your hands? Being a multi-ethnic, uh, yeah. multi-religious society, of course, you, you know, you've, you have to manage the differences. Uh, and But fortunately, the majority of Malaysians whether they're Muslims or whether they are non-Muslims, are people who love uh, peace and a harmonious relationship. They are basically moderates and sensible people. So I think uh, we should uh, try to uh, work towards the, the middle ground, the middle path, uh, the path of moderation, path of, uh, uh, you know, of maintaining the goodwill and har harmony in Malaysia. Let, let me get a little personal now. I'm sitting with a very high-tech prime minister. I mean, Twitter, Facebook, OneMalaysia.com. So, I mean, where in the world do you get the time to do all of this? Well, uh, you know, I have a team to support me, obviously, because no one can do it unless I give up my job. <laughs> I'm sure they don't want <laughs> me to do that. <laughs> so, you know, you know, what I do, I just, uh, you know, give uh, general guidelines. But wherever I can, uh, I do. Like, for example, when I find something interesting, I will record a response. And 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 uh, I will transmit to them, and uh, you know they're very happy. And in fact, uh, I believe my uh, Facebook fan club—it's uh, it's quite a large number now. It's beyond—I don't know—I've not seen the latest. Maybe beyond 70, 70 eighty thousand. And I have this idea that inviting—I uh, can't invite eighty thousand people, but I probably can invite a few hundred to the house, and and have tea with them or something like that. I'd like to engage with these people. Because it's it's a it's a it's a new Malaysia. We're talking about, you know, a new generation, and a new a generation that's uh, uh, not encumbered with uh, old uh, uh, baggage, and, and they're they're quite uh, open in their thinking, and and uh, they want to see uh, progress. They want to see changes and reforms. So I like to talk, and I like to engage with them on a more personal basis. Well, I'm not on Facebook, but perhaps after this interview, I might consider it, actually. <laughs> ah, you're, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you think this is a good way to be, um, you know, in touch with, with the people of your country? Is it, is it a nice way? I think you have to adjust yourself. I think, I think otherwise you've, you've been seen as the old, old style, old-fashioned, old old-style, old mm. you know, rather tired-looking politician. But yeah. you have to be attuned with the changing times. And if it requires you to be IT-savvy, so be it, because that is the means for you to communicate. After all, the rice bowl for a politician is to communicate. Indeed. And, and uh, communication doesn't mean you go on a platform and give a speech. Yes, you give a speech, but uh, through the internet, you, you, you'll be in touch with uh, you know, so much more uh, uh, you know, people, uh, and particularly people from the younger generation. Right. Uh, so uh, with all of these uh, high-tech um, you know, the ways you've been going about it. You, you, do you believe actually that this is enhancing your own country into just that top sphere? Uh, not me alone, but I, I need to show the way, you know, as, as, the, as the leader of the nation. I need to show 
and I need to be the uh, kind of a role model, if you like. I don't like to call myself role model, but in a sense that you have to provide, uh, you know, the path, the direction, the style, uh, and and that must be the style and and the the ways of the 21st century. And if Malaysia wants to be a 21st century nation, then I think the leaders of Malaysia must be must uh, exemplify leadership of the 21st century. Right. Indeed, a prime minister is a role model. I mean, uh, look at our own prime minister, you know, Manmohan Singh. So tell us about your interaction with him. I had a very good uh, 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 rapport with uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh. I think he was, he was genuinely warm. You know, I had, I had the impression that it was spontaneous and it was, it was sincere. And we, we struck a very good a personal uh, rapport and relationship. And I'm looking forward to working very closely with Dr. Manmohan Singh as we move forward, not only in a bilateral context, but as we challenge, as we manage, you know, the challenges of uh, major global issues like climate change and, uh, you know, energy security, uh, terrorism and uh, multilateral uh, fora and so forth. So uh, he, he's a good uh, partner and friend to have. A good enough rapport to get you back in our country soon? Well, I'd like soon? to. i like to. But uh, I, I have invited Dr. Manmohan Singh uh, to visit Malaysia because I want to sign uh, the uh, Comprehensive Economic uh, Cooperation Agreement in Kuala Lumpur because that will be the culmination of this uh, resurgence in terms of our bilateral ties. Right. Well, on that very positive note, I would like to thank you so very much indeed for being with us. We My do pleasure. appreciate your yeah. time today. Well, that's all we have time for on WeConnect. Of course, remember that this is your channel. And if you're interested, do call us, double nine four one three double two triple two. We'd love to hear from you. Take care. Goodbye for now.